All right, guys, it's Ken Smith, Total Force Holdings. Today, we're going to talk about the SMS side of communications. We've already talked about voice communications on your cell phone and its limitation. So today, we're going to talk about SMS. You call it texting. It's the short message service. What this is, is this, a lot, this basically turns your phone into a burst transmitter. Burst transmitters were developed years ago, one, to be able to send a message further because it's requires just it's a short transmission so it requires very very little power compared to sending the same thing by voice number two it's also very much harder to catch um capturing sms or any form of burst transmission is a lot more difficult than intercepting an ongoing phone call now obviously you can see the benefits to the military context here but you can typically, because it requires less bandwidth from your, your radio frequency, you could typically get SMS messages off when you don't have enough signal for good voice quality, which is a huge, huge thing. Texting tends to stay up a little bit longer than voice and like you have bad weather, natural disaster, something like that. So, yeah, it, it's a good thing. There's no issue with that. But you also have to understand the downsides of it. Right, like right now I'm using my Grizzly ears. These are my hearing protection for the rain. They're also the headset for my phone. So that's what's catching my aggravating ass voice that you're hearing right now, right? Yes, there is voice to text and all, but you still want to check the text message, especially if it's critical information, right? But uh, you still want to check the text message and make sure that it's right, it's accurate, not autocorrect, having fun with you, right? So you've got to have the ability to input the text. And honestly, the most efficient way to do that without a shit ton of corrections until autocorrect got developed is just typing it in, which what do you have to do to type it in? All right, if you're in an emergency, you don't wanna take your eyes off what's happening around you. You have to break your situational awareness and direct your attention to that screen, to that keypad, to that keyboard, whatever it may be to get that off. So, eh, not so great for that. Uh, a little bit of a personal bit here. Text. Uh, you can be on the phone, like with a headset like this, talk on the phone while you're driving, and still have full situational awareness of the road. Okay. You don't necessarily have as much sensory perception as like listening for the wop 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 for a flat tire or anything, but you do have good sensory perception of what's in front of you and likely not to prevent wrecks. If you're texting and driving, that can get you killed. And I know this for a fact because a person that meant the absolute world to me was killed, ran off the road, overcorrected, trying to come off, rolled the vehicle, got ejected, DOA, right, from texting and driving. You don't want to be that person at all. So SMS is good, but it does break your situational awareness. So keep that in mind. Link in the bio and down below for all my social media and my Patreon. Y'all stay safe.